Sister Charlie, aka Zeal Hills. This is our midnight prayer for Sunday, the 24th of September. If you have any questions, you're new, feel free to reach out at we pray at pillarsandfriends.com. Our prayer and fasting days are both Sundays and Wednesdays. Sundays and Wednesdays. So every month we have a focus. And every week we have a weekly weapon or verse that pertains to that focus. So for the month of September, our focus is love. So um, we didn't have a focus. We didn't have a weekly weapon per se on week one. We'll have to catch up. But on week two, we had John 16, 27 KJV for the father himself loveth you because ye have loved me and have believed that I came out from God. And then on week three, we have 1 Corinthians 16, 14. Let all that you do be done in love. And week four, which is this week, uh, we're going to sharpen our weapons right now. How? Doing triple seven memory first, memory, memorization method. Triple seven is basically we take our weekly weapon. We read it seven times daily using the seven colors of God's rainbow for seven days, seven times, seven rainbow colors for seven days, triple seven. So this week, our weekly weapon or memory verse is um, Zephaniah 317 Amplified Classic. We're going to start off reading this together first, um, and then we're going to get into our prayers. And today we have a special guest, Sister Afrika, um, who's been invited to pray with us. So we're going to do our triple seven now, then we'll get into our intercessory prayers. Got it? Week four, Zephaniah 317. This is Amplified Classic, so it's a little longer. We're going to read the whole thing seven times. Ready, set, go. Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. Number two, Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. I think that's so special. Number three, Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. Number four, Zephaniah 317. We're going to seven, guys. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. A savior he will saves. rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you for with singing. Number five, Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. 
Number six, Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. And finally, number seven, Zephaniah 317. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. Oh, my Lord. Thank you for your word. How special is that? Just give God some gratitude for his word. Thank you, God, for that beautiful word. We see all kinds of dimensions of his love. Even though it's only four weeks in September, we've, we've learned four different verses showing different dimensions of the Father's love. And why is that important? Because love, did you realize, is the only weapon the enemy doesn't have. I know it sounds cheesy because of maybe filters that we have about what love is. And that's why we are delving into the word about it so we can get a true knowledge of what love is and who he is. It's not a lovey-dovey feeling. That's a byproduct. He is a person. Love is a person. And that verse we read is so important for us as intercessors because we don't want to have anything where the devil might try to use against us to keep us feeling bogged down. Oh, I can't pray. And this happened. And oh, remember what I said the other day? The father doesn't think of that. The one who created you put that as far as the east is from the west. He doesn't even recall them. It doesn't mean he doesn't have the capability to remember, but he chooses not to. So when you have love, you have liberty. And when you have that kind of liberty, you have the freedom to forge ahead with what he's called you to do. Nothing can stop you. No devil in hell, no negativity, no bad words, not even your own thoughts replaying. No, not when you bring it to the obedience of Christ and you remember his word. That's why we put it into ourselves so many times. Now, on our prayer and fasting days, which is on which days? Today, Sundays and Wednesdays, that's when we delve into our designated scripture using the word study, meditation, prayer, and worship. But every other day, we're not delving into it. We're just getting it in us, getting it in us. Because guess what? God, God will honor that. And the Holy Spirit, right when you need it, will have it shoot out of you like a weapon. Where did that come from? It came from you taking responsibility, but using that in partnership with the empowerment of the Holy Ghost, using his word himself through you, because he can see what's going to happen. He can see what the devil or the enemy is trying. And he knows, well, you know what? My baby right here is set because she'd spent time with me to know what that word meant for her specifically. And we're learning together. You just got a vital weapon in you. So now that I see Sister Afrique is on, she is our guest prayer leader for today. She's coming out of USA, the state of um, Mississippi. And um, before I introduce, I'll just put her on so she can say hi really quickly. And then we're going to jump into um, what we're going to pray about so that you have an idea. And she's going to lead one of the prayer points. Sister Afrika, are you ready? Can you hear us? Hello, welcome. This is Sister Afrika. I'm not sure. I can't really hear you. Blessings. Can you hear me? There you are. We can hear you. Thank you so much for joining us. And 
um, for volunteering to lead prayer today for one of our prayer points. I just wanted to greet you, honor you, celebrate you, and say thank you. And we'll get back to Sister Afrika in just a moment here. Um, now we're going to, I'm just going to show you quickly our prayer points. Today is the 24th of Sunday now. I see it's three minutes after 12 here in Atlanta. And so we're going to get started because we want to take advantage of this midnight hour. As we know as intercessors, there are various prayer watches, various prayer watches. So we have different resources available to us at different times. We can read that all through scripture as we have. We'll do that. We'll dig into that another time if we if you haven't seen us do that before. But yes, certain angels, warrior angels are available to us in this hour. We want to take advantage of that. Um, as we learn together, we see how to be more intelligent with our prayers. As Apostle teaches us to be word compliant, we want to be effectual, effective, fervent, and also learn from scripture. That's why we have to be word compliant and word reliant, because as we learn from scripture, the Holy Spirit reveals those layers. Oh, that's why the chains broke off at midnight. That's why it specifies in the word midnight or the church prayed together twice a week. Where did that come from? Was it just religiosity or was there something truly behind that in which we can use to our advantage? It's the latter. So for the prayer points for tonight, of course, <laughs> this is a prayer group that um, primarily is focused on covering the primary goal of KGPF is that um, because we have been imparted such beautiful graces for prayer and implication by Apostle Joshua Selman, that's how most of us came together. Um, we want to give back and contribute back by praying for him. So we don't just pray for him, but um, he is the, the, the focal reason why we've come together. We mo mainly, most of us met in the Koinonia Global Chat. Not all of us. It's actually started off with my spiritual sister through our spiritual father, it's uh, Prophet Ed Citronelli. And she opened up the world of how we could come together as a group and pray. And uh, the mainly the group came from Koinonia Global, who um, is from my mentor, Apostle Selman. And so that's why it's called Kononia Global, Killers and Friends. Yes, there is a focus, but it's not only limited um, to just people of Kononia Global. It's inclusive of all who are connected to the vision and of that of kingdom come. So our first prayer point is Apostle Joshua Stellman. Second one is our new building launch starting this week. Hallelujah. Then we're going to pray about Sunday services happening later, 5 p.m. Watt. And lastly, we're going to pray about the upcoming ministrations. And that will be led by our dear sister, Afrika, who is joining us today from Mississippi, USA. So um, just to get started, we've already sharpened our weapons with Zephaniah 317. We know the love of the Father. Um, I want us to. Uh, meditate just a little on the love of the Father by way of a hymn. And it's called, Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus. So follow along here. Oh, the Deep, Deep Love of Jesus. This is one of my favorite hymns. <laughs> so I'm a little biased here, but we're just going to read the first and the second stanza. Oh, the deep, deep love of Jesus, vast unmeasured, boundless free, rolling as a mighty ocean, in its fullness over me, underneath me, all around me is the current of his love. Let's read the last one. 
to side surrounding us like a beautiful ocean. Oh God, we're reminded by the showers of blessings from Kenya, by the showers of blessings poured from your dear humble servant's mouth, Apostle served us, Selman, who said we are in a season with showers of blessings. That is your love surrounding us, your rivers of love, hallelujah, out of our bellies flows rivers rivers of living life. There is no love without life. There is no life without love. And that is you, Jesus. And we thank you. We praise you. Open your mouth and praise the Lord. We thank you for your love. It changeth never. It never, no matter what happens in life, his love is always there. No matter what we've done in our past, just as our Zephaniah 317 says, he doesn't even recall it anymore. His love is always there. No matter what we do in our future that sin against him. Oh, God, have mercy. But we thank you for your everlasting love. Your love has no end because you are love and there is no end to you. You are infinite. You are Alpha Omega. There is no beginning to you. There is no end to you. And that's why we can trust in you, according to Jeremiah 29, 11, to have an expected end. Because you can see the end because you created us as the zenith of your creation. Therefore, you know what our end is when we are in you, in Christ. When we are in Christ, the one who is without end and without beginning, it's always an expected end, a hope in a future, because that future is in the one who's everlasting and that everlasting love is deep. When we accept it, when we believe it and we receive it, there is nothing that can can stop the unstoppable agenda of God in and through our lives. Because it is the love. Love has to be the basis of our motivation in order for us to be true intercessors. Not action, not attention, not anything. It has to be compassion. It has to be love. And Lord, we cannot conjure that up from, we cannot create that within ourselves. It comes from you, the impartation of you. Yes, we get impartation from man. But the original oil, that is your oil being dispensed through the vessel of honor. May our vessels be wide and strong enough to receive everything so that we can pour back out in obedience according to what you called us to do, which is to pray. Out of our bellies flow rivers of life. So everything that you are giving to us through your vessel of honor Namely, Apostle Selman, who's brought us together, may it flow through us. May your love flow through us, through our neighbors. May your love flow through us, through our family members. Sometimes we can treat people on the outside better than we do on the inside. May you start with us first by us first receiving your love fully, knowing that you don't even look at our past sins, that you look at us for who you created us to be. And that might even not be who we are right now, just as we learn through the worship experience to be a better version of ourselves. You see that right now. 
Help us to see as you see. Lord, we ask you to give us your seeing eye and your hearing ear, not only to discern the love that you have for us, but the vision and the version of ourselves that you have for us. Not only to discern what to do, but also what not to do, what to pray for, but also what not to pray for. Holy Spirit, we ask for your divine eyes so that as we behold you, we become what we behold. We set our eyes a gaze on you and only you. That way we are not deceived by the serpent. That we can see clearly to know how to pray, to know how to relate to each other, to know how to live life. We thank you, Lord. We give you honor. We give you glory. We give you power for this moment. I thank you for every individual in Koinonia Global. Pillars and friends, I thank you, Lord, that you brought us together for such a time as this. I cover each and every one of us, whether uh, live or um, coming on later with the blood of Jesus Christ. I thank you that you've given us a heart to pray, the grace for prayer and supplication. Thank you, Father, that our hearts are geared towards you, that our minds are of one set, one mindset, and because you are the magnificent father, you are the true God. You are everywhere with all of us at the same time. And no matter the time zones, you're omnipresent. Therefore, we believe by faith, although none of us are in this time zone with me in the natural, we join together by faith faith to take advantage of this prayer watch, this midnight watch of warrior angels to do as you called us to do, to intercede and to pray as prayer warriors. So we are covering, but we are also interceding on behalf of. And we thank you, Lord, that you've given us the power to do that. You told us that in your word. So let's go ahead and read our core scriptures and get started in prayer. So our core verses for KGPF are Psalm 121.6 and Isaiah 62.6. Psalm 121.6 says, I want us to read it together. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. One more time, Psalm 121, 6. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. Amen. And then Isaiah 62, 6. Ready? Let's read. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We'll go ahead and we just want to start praying in the spirit. And um, I may or may not mention in English what we are praying about, but you will always see it on the screen. You may join us, Sister Frika, and praying in the spirit. We're going to start off praying for our Apostle Joshua Selman. Um, Next. Oh, God, thank you for your humble servant, son, for this vessel of honor, Apostle Joshua Selman. We don't know the blood that's on his altar, but we see the evidence of it, and the evidence is within ourselves. Thank you that we have the fervency to pray. We are hot for you, Lord, and we're learning every day, individually and corporately, what that means to pray. We lift him up from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet, that uh, everything be aligned, every part of his DNA be aligned to that of you, the creator of the universe. And so uh, we know we don't have to have tokens to um, for there to be true communion. We use that and we'll be using it tonight. But Lord, we pray that in this hour of communion in Nigeria time, this is an hour of communion, that his body physically is in communion with you and spiritually in alignment so that every part of his cell, every DNA is aligned to that, to the creator of the universe. Therefore, it's perfected from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet 
so that he is at the optimum levels to be able to minister how you called him to minister with great strength, great grace, and great power, Acts 4.33. Thank you, Lord, that you're taking care of his family and his loved ones so that he can focus on his mission and his call. Thank you that you're giving him plenty of rest, which may or may not include only sleep, for his mind to be at rest even when he's conscious. Thank you, Lord, that you are surrounding him with good counsel. And that counsel not only speaks the word of God to his ear that's relevant and prevalent for today, but it also blocks that which is not for him. Thank you that he has burden bearers. We're praying that they also are lifted up in health and that their families are protected so they can do what they're called to do as burden bearers. We lift him up as he prepares to minister to us on this divine special day, Miracle Sunday. Every time he uh, is, is ministering us, in my opinion, I've seen is a miracle, but we know that by the leading of your spirit, this day, the last day of each month is designated especially for Miracle Sunday. And with it being a marvelous, marvelous worship experience on yesterday, the glory has the glory fell and, and it's still there. I know the cloud is there, and so there is a new air, a new air that aids and that emboldens that season, this season of showers of blessings, oh God. And it's so beautiful that it's a glory cloud and we're talking about rains of blessing and showers of blessing, the new building launch, all these things, the very first worship experience, him going to minister to his covenant brother as they celebrate their anniversary. And, and just so many showers of blessings. Kenya, the massive deliverances and salvations, Lord, we thank you. And so you know this is your servant. We are praying for him, for godly counsel, for wisdom, for the Sunday service to run smoothly, and that he be a greater vessel of honor, even on today, that you keep pouring into him new wine because he's dispensing it out to this world such a time as this. Let's pray in the spirit. Your word says you suffer not a witch to live. In the mighty name of Jesus, each and every cohort of the devil with a spiritual, natural attempting to come up against the man of God in his church, we call you out, we cast you out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Who do you think you are? This is the unstoppable program of God and the agenda will go on to those who are willing vessels and those who are in obedience. Take your claws off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call for I call out every agenda of infirmity to get off in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you and you're out in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak for Zoe health in every area of life. I rebuke every word curse against Quinonia Global, every word curse set up against Apostle Selman. Uh, these things called season and flu seasons. No, we rebuke that and we cancel the mighty name of Jesus. The only seasons we agree with are those that come out the word of God and his mouth. And he says we are in a season of celebration, a season of jubilee, a season of showers of blessing. And that's what we agree for ourselves as a church collectively and in the vision of the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
Lord, we lift up the Church of Koinonia Global, ENI, at both Zaria and Abuja. We ask you to cover all staff, faces seen and unseen, names known and unknown, heaven knows them, and we cover them now. We, we cover them as a result of having compassion and gratitude in our hearts because each and every person's role done in obedience is done to the glory of you, Father, done for the salvation, salvation of souls and for the soul transformations of souls who already know you. So none are too small and none are too big. We cover the staff. We cover the miracle service. Amen. We pray that each and every soul that the Holy Spirit intends to be there will be there in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We come up against any and all demonic blocks that will attempt to stop those souls who were scheduled to be at the miracle service, whether in the natural or virtual. We come up against them now in the mighty name of Jesus. We break your powers. We break your powers in the mighty name of Jesus. We come up over every single block and we disintegrate it by the fire and the power of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. You will not use the power of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, every block, every wild, every 
in the mighty name of Jesus. We break your power, Holy Ghost.
Jesus, we give you honor, we give you glory, we give you praise. And now, Sister Afrika, if you could lead us in prayer, um, thank you for volunteering the prayer and for the upcoming ministrations, especially that of um, Apostle being at Johannesburg, South Africa, I believe on the 28th through the 29th. But we're not only praying for Apostle Selman, we want to cover um, the entire program. It's called the Governmental Church. And it is no accident. I meant to tell, um, I'll share this real quick. It is no accident that um, the governmental church, which is the crusade happening in South Africa, is happening during the time of the Sukkot festival. The Sukkot festival is a Jewish festival. I don't know if you're in our sacred spaces or not, our, our personal prayer walls or praise walls. If you're not, um, I think I shared it on the community page. Um, we can trace back. Uh, we can trace back a lot of events and happenings according to Jewish festivals, because they're still celebrated today in the same manner, in the same way, the same number of days, just as they were originally. So, if we trace back those festivals, we can look at uh, using our studies. That's why word study is so important along with the revelation of the Holy Spirit. And we can literally learn when Jesus was born. Now the Jews do not celebrate, the Jewish people do not celebrate birthdays as we do in our modern day culture, especially like for instance, here in America. 
Uh, we celebrate year by year. Happy birthday. You know, you turned a year older. The Jewish people celebrate life, uh, so to speak, passage by passage. So, for instance, as you become a, going from girl being a young girl to womanhood or being a young boy to manhood, Yes, that happens at a particular age, but it's not set on a particular time. It could happen over the course of time. And that's how they celebrate life according to growth as a person. Luke 252, he grew in stature and wisdom. You know, he got really curious to learn about the word, the Torah at what age? 12. So we know 12 to be the age today, one of the Jewish festivals that's when Jewish boys celebrate the bar mitzvah going from boyhood to manhood. It's a crucial time. In America, we call it preteens. It's a crucial time of change. You're getting curious. You want to be independent from your parents. Remember, that's when Mary and Joseph lost him for three days. You want to learn. I'm not saying Jesus was being rebellious or anything, but there are some natural things that occur with growth that are important for us to learn that we can learn even through his human life. So why am I saying this? The governmental church program that's going to be held in South Africa, hosted by Apostle Felix and his wife, Pastor Vulelua Oko, Apostle Selman, I think it's scheduled to preach there the 28th through the 29th. But the whole program goes until August, I mean, October 1st. Well, the Sukkot Festival every year is between the end of September and the beginning of October. And if you trace back that festival to the time of Jesus, they say that is the time he was born. And my personal inference from this is that's probably why there's the existence of what we call ember months. Think about it. Rosh Hashanah, Jewish New Year. We've just gotten over Shemitah, which means there's no more debt after the seven years. The time of Jesus's birth, the time of celebration for his people. And now we're in gratitude to his family. So we are his people. It's not just Jewish celebration. It's the celebration for all of God's people. So the greatest or the time of greatest orchestrated attacks by the devil would probably be the time of greatest celebration for his people. Jesus was born then. Oh no, they're going to be happy about that. That I, I believe that is probably why we have Ember months, which starts in September. Sukkot is between September and October 1st. Why is it that range? It's because of our modern day calendar. We don't use the Hebrew or the Jewish calendar. And so it changes and it fluctuates by the three months. But anyway, whatever. If, if you don't think he was born that time, that's okay. Just know it's still a special time. And heaven is in a time of rejoicing now too, along with the Jewish celebrations. And with these showers of blessings and five, seven, eight, four. The number four, like I said, equals Dalit. Is, is means the word Dalit, which translates to door. And our apostle taught us already. He announced to us in January, in December. And no, what was it? I think it was December that the year 2023 would be called year of open door. So we are already in line. We've already been celebrating ahead of time. Hallelujah. Uh, but Rosh Hashanah, which we just, you know, this is the Jewish New Year and starting in this season, um, started with year five, seven, eight, four. And four, even if you look at the Hebrew character, it actually looks like a door. It means open door. That's why now you're hearing everywhere, year of open door, year of open door. It's because of that Jewish holiday. But he's so good. He's not limited to just a religious holiday. His spirit, we now have his spirit uh, can overflow if we receive it, if we know the mechanics and the rules of engagement. And that's why 
we are so honored to pray for Apostle Selman because he told us that even if we didn't even realize the connection. Hallelujah. So um, with that in mind, thank you, Sister Afrika, for praying for the upcoming conference at Johannesburg, South Africa, during the time, a very special time. Oh, one other thing. It's called Governmental Church. The government was on his shoulders, Isaiah 9, 6. That's usually a scripture we say around Christmas to celebrate his what? Birth. Anyway, let's, uh, Sister Afrika, if you help us pray, lead us in prayer, please. I can't, I can't hear you. Can you hear me? Oh, I'm sorry. I can't hear you. Thank you, Lord, for your word. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your glory. You're so worthy. Thank you for the layers of your revelation and your scripture that is not only historic and architectural, but it's also prophetic. Prophetic for your church, prophetic for our lives individually. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I cover each and every person with the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now we hear you now. Would you like to lead us in prayer, please? Sister Afrika, I'm sorry. We, we heard you before, but we're not hearing you now. We can't hear you now. Can't hear you. Can't hear you. It's, it's going in and out. It's going in and out. Here we'll... Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Can you hear me? You can't hear me. Yes, I can hear you just fine. I'm going to mute myself. So maybe that was the issue. Yeah, I'm going man. to mute myself and, and then, that, then I'll allow you to pray. Okay. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? Okay. We're just going to pray along in the spirit. We're of one light, one heart set according to this prayer point because your voice is going in and out according to, I guess, how you're, I'm not sure how close your mouth is to the device, whether it's to the computer when it's better or not. But we're just going to go ahead and pray in the spirit, okay? Can you so, hear me? Um, Yes, we can hear you when your voice is close to the computer, but we can't hear it when it's far. So we're going to go ahead and, for the sake of time here, take advantage of these angels in this time. We'll pray in the spirit together according to this um, prayer point of the upcoming ministration, especially um, at Johannesburg, South Africa. We're going to cover. Um, you can hear me now. Going to cover the pastors yeah. there. Um, Apostle. Felix Oko and his wife. We're going to the cover the trap. Mercy. Yes. So we've been having going. a lot of problems. With... Thank can you, you Father. Me? Yes. Yes, we can hear you there. Oh, okay, you're binding the prince. In the mighty name of okay. Jesus. In the name of Jesus, okay. In the name of Jesus. 
Lesa karara kabru ko safri ke shakiri ra kaleri ate kebru ko safri ke shakiri ra alara bo shakete. Rosta kaleri ate kebru ko safri ke shakiri ra kaleri ate kebru ko safri ke shakete. Vri ke shakiri ra kaleri ate kebru ko safri ke shakete. Vri ke shakiri ra kaleri bo shakibru ko safri ke shakete. Rosta kiri ra kabri ke shakiri kri shakaleri ate ke. Okay, Lord God, you're in control of everything, Lord. Holy Spirit, you're in control. Luke 10, okay, okay, 19. Um, thank Behold, you. I give unto so, you. The one thing that we've Behold, been noticing is that we're having a lot of technical difficulties. Okay. Listen, Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. Okay. Those are devils We've and demons. With a lot of and over all the power during, of the um, enemy. And the nothing shall by any means that hurt we've been you. Attending. Nothing and shall by any means hurt you. A lot of times when we are going through these um, menstruations, we are, are complaining to the media. We shouldn't be complaining to the media. The Lord doesn't like it when we complain. Okay. Okay. So then okay. what we're going to for is we're going to be grinding. We're going to be binding the prince of the air. We're going to be We're going to be binding the prince of the air. We're going to be binding the prince of the air so that we'll have the so that we'll have the, we'll have the broadcasting and we won't have any problems. Um, they talk about the prince of the air and Daniel. In the mighty name of Jesus, we bind you. We bind technical difficulties coming from the prince of the air, dealing with, dealing with the network according to God is according to Ephesians 6 12. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against the rulers of darkness of the world, and against spiritual wickedness in high places. Since we know and believe the word of God is sure, it is a more sure word of prophecy. Second Peter 1, 19 through 20. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, that you hold all power in your hands, Jehovah. Therefore, no power can contest against yours. Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power. Now we have the power to tread on serpents and so scorpions. So then when we are praying, the when, we are, we are, when we are having technical difficulties, we pray about it. We thank God. Nothing, we worship God. We know that he complained to the... Notwithstanding in this rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in the heaven. And so just because we're having these technical difficulties, it will not stop us from praying. We will pray in the spirit now. We're not going to try to pray in the natural. We're going to pray in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let's go. Let's pray in the spirit. We're going to pray in the spirit. We break your powers now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we magnify you. Lord God, we praise you to touch each of the The governmental church conference. We're asking you to touch each one of them. We're asking you to, that you will speak through them, that you will some of Jesus. Anything and everything that comes against the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are calling on your angels. We are calling for against anything and everything that does not bear the name of Jesus. That 
your spirit will take control, that your spirit will have control, and that only you, and that only your will will be done in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I like to mention one thing. So the Johannesburg that we're praying about, um, the name of the conference is the, gov the governmental crusade, the governmental conference, right? The governmental conference. 12 represents authority or government. 12 represents authority or government. Koinonia Global oh, yeah. recently celebrates the anniversary of year what? 12. Okay. So House of Treasure Ministries, House of Treasure Ministries, who was hosting the governmental crusade last week, just celebrated their anniversary of year. Guess what? 12. So I think it's very a crucial, a crucial time, not only as we celebrate the celebration, the Jewish celebrations, but there's no accidents because they are led by the spirit of God to start these ministries for such a time as this. And such a time as this was 12 years ago is now and for the longevity uh, for the purpose of God's kingdom. So we want to keep that in mind as we pray. As Sister Africa has led us in prayer against binding the princes, we need to understand, believe, and receive about our authority. That's why I read Luke 10, 18 through 19, having a stance and being in agreement with his word of our authority. 12 equals authority. 12 equals government. And we're praying uh, uh, to intercede on behalf of this church hosting a government conference that will strengthen us and embolden us in his truth by his word that much more. And also we're going to pray at the end that there be no demonic retaliation in the mighty name of Jesus. So let's continue to prayer with that in mind, 12 authority government. And by the way, KGPF started off with 12 nations, 12 nations. Thank you, Sister Africa. Would you please continue to help us in prayer with uh, for Johannesburg? We'll go ahead and continue praying in the spirit as you lead according to how the Holy Spirit is leading you to pray in, in reference to um, this upcoming ministration. <laughs> And it's a calibre of Shaki Brukos of Rikishi Kate, Rokus of Rikishi Kitty, like a Brukos of Kaliri at the Kibukos of Kate, Rosa Kabrukos of Rikishi Kitty, like a Brukos of Kate, Rasta Kaliri at the Kibukos of Rikishi Kate, Rasta Kaprukus of Rikishi Kate, like a Brukos of Kate, Rusa Kaliri at the Kibukos of Rikishi Kate, 
Rosa Kalari at the Kibuko subject is shaked at a Kabuko Sakate. There's the Kalari at the Kibuko subject is shaked. Break a shaked at a Kabuko subject is shaked at a Kalari at the Kate. Break a shaked at a Kabuko Sakate at a Kabuko Sakate. Brokus of the Kisikid at a other was shaked. There's the Kalari at the Kibuko subject is shaked. Rosa Kalari at the Kibuko subject is shaked at a Kabuko Sakate at a other was shaked. Rosa Kabuko subject is shaked at a Kabuko Sakate at a Kabuko Sakate. Rokus of the Kisikid at a Kalari at the Kibuko Sakate. Rosa Kalari at the Kibuko Sabrika Shikate. Rosa Kalari at the Kibuko Sabrika Shikate at Kabuko Sakate. Rosa Kiri at Kabuko Sakate at Kabuko Sakate. Roko Safika Sakate at Kabuko Safika Shikate at Kalari at the Kibuko Sakate. There's a Kadira Kabuko Safika Shikate at Kabuko Sakate. Rosa Kalari at the Kibuko Safika Shikate at Kabuko Sakate. There's a Kalari at the Kibuko Safika Shikate. There's a Kalari at the Kibuko Safika Shikate at Kabuko Sakate at Kabuko. Resta Kalari at the Kibuko Safika Shikiri Rosa Kalari at the there's a Kilia at the Kim Roku, Safika Shikida Kabroka Sakate. This Shakarida Kabuka Sakida Kabuka Safika Shikida Kamiriatik. There's a Kalaria to give you Safiki Shikida Rosa, how do you get a 
And those who are members of the church will be of a warm and welcoming embrace to those who are new, even online, that we would have a divine encounter that would never leave us the same. And let us not be any less cognizant that it's not only believers that are online. And let us be uh, more aware that how we respond, how we talk to each other in love or without love, that has an effect on somebody's spirit. That has an effect. And somebody is watching who is curious about the Lord and they want to see how are these Christians different. So, Lord, let us keep you in mind and you in the center of everything that we do. But especially as we prepare for your encounter through the ministration at Johannesburg, Africa, as we come together as a family, as a unit, as the body, your body of Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord. Bless you. Thank you for all those in KGPF. We thank you for Sister Afrika. Bless her and her family. We are so grateful. We're so grateful, Lord. So now we want to get our elements um, to take communion. We have been communing with the Lord already, but this is just a token to seal that which we pray for kingdom come. And whether you're watching this now or later, many of you know that um, 
<laughs> you know what? God is so good. He's done so many miracles. Many of you guys don't know the many miracles that have happened in just the, oh my goodness, in the past few weeks. You, you, you guys have been there. We've been there for each other to pray for each other. And I'm grateful. But we also need to be careful that we don't forget to testify because that is how we overcome and that we keep our testimony by telling it. I have been testifying all the way along because God has given me testimonies and he's going to give you testimonies too. As you continue in obedience to his word, continue in faith to intercede for his vessels, he's covering you in ways you can never imagine. I'm not just Amen. talking about for I'm not just talking about for your current prayer points. I'm talking about things down the line that he sees for you. He's looking at your seeds that you're putting in the ground now, and they're going to flourish in a beautiful harvest that will cover you, your destiny, your family, and everybody connected to you that you don't even know yet. People in your hometown, in your city, in your village, all because of what you're doing today um, for his servants and for his church and for his program. So, Lord, as we pray that last prayer, um, that we be cognizant of how we treat each other, how we and be cognizant that we it's not only believers online or only believers that in the church, there are non-believers there who you call by your spirit. And therefore, as we're cognizant of it, may our hearts be aligned to yours so that we can say the right things, we can pray the right things. And that is being discerning of your body. Even those who are yet to become of the body yet, we are discerning of our actions, our heart, our posture in you. Not just for others, but also so that we can delve deeper into relationship with you to know you more. So with that in mind, we thank you, Lord, and we seal these prayers. The power of your blood, but first, by discernment of the body, we take the bread and eat. We thank you, Lord, that we are healed and whole emotionally, physically as our spirit aligns to yours and as our body, our entire being is aligned to you. As we asked in the beginning, I don't know if someone's joining afterwards, but that's why it's important to come on in the beginning. We pray in the beginning. We ask the Lord to purge us and cleanse us of anything not like Christ. And take time to ask for forgiveness and to forgive those who have hurt you. Because you don't want to be partaking in communion. As he says in his word, that, that's the reason a lot of people die or are even sick. Because we're taking communion without discerning. And com taking communion, I don't mean just, you know, with these physical tokens. I mean the act which translates into a spiritual reality. If you're going to just be discerning of his body and he is protecting his body from evil, we want to make sure that that evil isn't us. So we ask you, Lord, to purge us. If there's anybody that we've taken offense to, anything or anyone that we need to ask forgiveness, Holy Spirit, we ask you to bring it to our minds now. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your blood that was shed for us. Lion of Judah, Lamb of God. We thank you that you're giving us divine health, strength, grace, and purpose that when we come together for a miracle service, we will be ready and on fire for you and ready to receive. Take the blood and drink.
Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Well, thank you and shalom, beautiful brethren and fellow intercessors. Have a powerful prayer and fasting day. Remember our weekly weapon. We get it every Sunday. This Sunday, today is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 17. Amplified classic. The Lord your God is in the midst of you, a mighty one, a savior who saves. He will rejoice over you with joy. He will rest in silent satisfaction. And in his love, he will be silent and make no mention of past sins or even recall them. He will exalt over you with singing. That is so beautiful that the Lord, the creator of the universe, exalts over you with sing singing. And what a paradox that he would be silent, but yet loud with singing at the same time. Well, remember to do your word study, prayer and worship and meditation according to that verse, Zephaniah 317, Amplified Classic. And we fast six to six, whatever your respective times globally. Hashtag PDPU, which stands for Place Down, Power Up. If you're under doctor's care or pregnant, we fast for you. And I would encourage you to relinquish some other area of your life for the purpose of consecration. It could be television. It could be anything that the Holy Spirit brings to your mind so that you can focus more on him and hear what he has to say to you specifically, according to that verse, Zephaniah 317. If you're new, feel free to reach out. We pray at Pillars and Friends dot com until then i love you all and i love you sister africa and i truly appreciate you praying today whether you're online now or after i appreciate each and every one of you throughout the week you're so edifying and encouraging and just as apostle mentioned yesterday how worship is to transform us and i thought of the butterfly being a better version of ourselves then we can remember that by what I always say, bye-bye, be your best you. <laughs> love you, love you. Oh, I'm sorry, looks like, oh, okay, there we go. Hi, Sister Purity, joining us from Katar. She put the scripture in there. Thank you, Sister Afrika, put the hashtag in there. Bye bye, be your best you. Oh, wow. I keep forgetting to switch over to the screen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, that's it for now. I love you, love you, love you. Bye bye. For now, be your best you.